Hello everyone, welcome back. I've been to an uh, antique fair today in Malvern, um, just, so I just thought I'd show you what I've bought. As you can see in the thumbnail, I've got a really rare rally uh, enamel sign, so I'll show you that at the end. Um, so yeah, let's just begin. Um, so we've got all this on here, some down on the floor, and some I had from a, a car boot as well, which I'll show you. So to start with, I'll show you these. We've got some Shimano road bike shoes, retro colours. What size are they? Can't see this size. And they look like a, a nine, but they're nice. I think it was 20 quid for these shoes and what's in this box. So we've got Rally, the Rally Tube. Michelin tube. We've got North Nottinghamshire Olympic Road Club badge. We've got a pack of HSB 216 axles. Uh, they are in here. So, new old stock. Remember, this was all for 20 quid. It was 20 or 25. We've got some uh, grip fast. I think they're yeah, the smaller ones. And we've got a uh, full pack of them. They used to be 42p each. Uh, we've got a Kender tube. Couple of cycling spanners, Terry's, I think they're cycling spanners. And a little pump, just stamp made in England. No valve, nice little one. And we have a, I don't know what that is, it's Italian. Italian saddle. So that was all £20. We've got a wooden storage box with a nice sheeny clamp, leather handle. That was £10. Yep, you guessed it. Some more clocks. So a Smith's mantle clock. I've got the key as well, which is also stamped Smith's. So that's another nice one. Again, ten pound. Really nice. Right. I've got. This is a really nice. Uh, it's a quartz clock, but got uh, something about it needs a battery so better mech so I got this uh, tin of old keys padlocks and um, some locks as well which you know to be on like wardrobes and stuff but you can use them for boxes Uh, this was 25 quid. Some really nice, nice padlocks in here. It's an unusual one. Really funky. Even got some new old stock wardrobe brackets as well. Which, like I say, they're ideal for the old wooden storage boxes, cash boxes, that kind of stuff. Lo 
hold the keys there. Uh, 25 quid. Uh, we've got this cash box, vintage cash box, no key, but um, with all the keys that I bought today and the spares that I've got, hopefully I've got one that fits. That's a nice uh, nice size with the, the name on it. So that was 15. I'll just turn you to the side. I bought this for £10. I'm going to whack this in the shed. Um, just a vintage storage shelving thing. So it'll be ideal. Oh, I thought for a tenner, couldn't say no. Just absolutely beautiful condition. So, I'll show you a bit better. There you go. Hopefully you can squeeze it in down there somewhere. I've got this gun, which is a ball bearing gun. It's got some steel ball bearings with it. Yeah, one's just shot out. Wow. <laughs> Quite powerful actually. I don't even know where you put them in. Uh, Huntington Beach, USA. Yeah. Cool little thing. It's got the, the box and also the uh, instructions as well. It tells you how to disassemble it, which may be required. Um, we've got a swatch watch uh, dated on the back. 97 really nice don't know the value of that i paid 20 just under 20 pound um but yeah it's in the in the box in the case so there's a couple of others as well somewhere um i've got this smith's eight day which is in poor condition there's some cracking around there um but it's a really old one as you can see the seconds is just sort of moving but yeah 10 pound absolute bargain yeah it's you know it's got that damages but for spares or repairs you know it could easily double up on there so we've got a jones quartz I'm not too sure. I don't think that's a, an old one. I think it might be a, a new one. But again, really nice thing. Oh, this saddle is mint. So we've got a nice brook saddle. 30 quid. Condition of it is just unreal. That should do well. 30 quid. Absolute bargain. <coughs> so there's the other two swatches. Um, so that one's 2007. And that one, I think that will probably be roughly around the same sort of age. A couple of nice swatches there. So a bit of a gamble because some of them are worth more than others. But I think it was uh, 50 for the three. And we've got a nice uh, 25 dual automatic uh, baller watch in need of a tear down. But that could have some real good value. I think I paid 15 for that. That was a gamble as well because I'm not too sure what, that, what that's worth. We've got another bag of. Uh, Keys, some uh, oh, right. old brass, I think it's a radiator key or something. Yeah, we've got some clock keys, a few different ones. 
we've got a hedgehog pipe reamer. An old spot key. Wow, that's a padlock key, I think. Probably him. It's a clock dongle, is it? I don't know. And a crap load of them. Uh, we've got lovely Smith's Empire um, pocket watch. I paid forty pound for that, but these can fetch a fair amount. Got this little tin with wheels on it. Not very old. Stage coach, cowboys and Indians. Lovely. Right. Got the vintage bell. That was three quid. Uh, Smith's music call thirty hour wind up. Fives on that, but I think I think it was fifteen I paid. Lovely Triang cement truck, just ten pound. Was it ten pound? No, this one was eighteen. Condition really good. We have a load more keys, vintage keys. And a uh, little padlock without the key. Nice little brass one. I think it was 20 quid for all them keys and the padlock. Which the padlock alone is worth that, so. Uh, what else did we get? So this one was a tenner. Uh, this is a Tonka. Nice thing. The chap said it all works. It's got the metal hook there, all the cable in running to it. Nice. There's loads of these there. Different ones. Hundreds of them. There was actually just loads of everything. I've never, never been to anything like that before. Um, just completely full of antique dealers. Really good. This was 25, so this is a tin full. Again, old keys, padlocks. Some really nice old ones. Union. There's four padlocks in there. Some really old keys, big keys. It's a nice one. Of course, like you're paying a little bit more than car boots, but um, you know that's uh, just the way it is. I've got a few bits from. The car bit on Saturday. So we've got some some stabilizers, 500 lumen light, nice bit of kit. Quite expensive actually. Got the charger lead in there as well. It's about eight pound I think for the stabilizers and the light. We've got a little made in England brown and sharp ruler, little metal one, heart rate monitor, that was part of the eight pound deal, a little watch in here, this was four pound, 
what is it? I don't even know actually, it's just got automatic on it. It's actually working. I'm not sure what make that is. Elgin. Stamped on the back. And we've got a couple of more watches. Got a little Disney nurse's watch. And a kahuna. Little ladies watch. A couple of quid each then was I think. Uh, a couple of books, £10 for these two. So we've got more rude food. Which is basically I don't even know. I have some really strange things going on in there. But um Quite a nice quite a nice book to be honest. Very nice. David Thorpe and his camera come back for second helpings. But I think them are about 25 quid because a woman asked for two pound for it and then decided to do an eBay search to, to see if she was too cheap and then decided to charge me a fiver. And the other fiver was this one. Uh, this is Private Pictures introduced by Anthony Burgess. And this is a strange one. Um, you've got, again, sort of raunchy pictures. But you've got celebrities in here as well. So it's a bit strange, this one. And we've got the Queen there. And then a few pages before, where you've got Somebody like that. So you're a bit. So it's a bit strange that one. But again, some value to that. I think they're about thirty quid. Because she looked on eBay while I was there. At least do your research before you start putting the stuff on the floor to sell. And not just bump the price up. What else? So we've got a another job lot of wooden wooden blocks. Three boxes full of them. Which was only a tenner. They sold some uh, last week and they sold really well. I love this. No, cycling. Real heavy. Bit of age to it, nothing too much, but a little bit of age. 30 quid. So, might keep that, I don't know yet. And then, <laughs> I think everything else I've showed you. So now I can show you the best boy of the day. Which is this? So this is um, it's quite a rare one. I'm not too sure how rare, but it's fairly rare. Uh, so you've got the the lion there chasing chasing the man on his bike. Um, shame that it's gone there on the rally sign but I suppose it all adds to it it'll look a lot better as well when I've cleaned it just to get the uh, get the crap off give it a spray of WD-40 it should look loads better uh, that was £400 um, probably never have the opportunity to buy another one and it's something that'll just go up in value. It's probably worth double that now. 
I'm not 100%, but a quick, quick Google search revealed some had sold for 1300 Well, there was not many on there, but the couple that did sell was sort of well over a 1000 So for £400, it's a bargain. Just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. And it will be quite difficult to let it go. Because it's really, really cool. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments. I'll just show you the back. Oh, it's so heavy. It really is. That's the back. Now disputing the authenticity of it. It's the real deal. I nearly forgot to show you. So we also picked up this vintage rally. I don't know what model it is. Made in England, stamped across the top. Nice Brooks saddle. Not as nice as the other one. It's got the three speed stermy on it, all the rally nuts. Rally nut on the seat. Clamp. Yeah, nice thing. That was uh, 70. Absolute bargain. Quite a nice example. Boom. Well, that's it. I've showed you everything, I think. So, um, it's mad. Though. I didn't even know about this place until uh, one of the car booters told me. Because um, I bought a watch off him and he says if you like that sort of stuff, vintage stuff, you should get to uh, Malvern. And that's how I, I, you know, I went there and I ended up getting all this. So it's mad how um, if he hadn't said anything, I would never have got that sign. So I'm hoping I can take this off, this crap off the shelf here, I can have it, I can even get rid of this and just have it across the windows there. Yeah, I think that's probably the best place for it. I'm running out of places to put things. But that's going to be it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video of what I found. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, until next time, goodbye.